Hi viewers, we have Dr. Sri Ram Devnathan, Chairperson, Department of Chemical Engineering, Amrita School of Engineering, Amrita Vishwavidya Pidam, Etimade Coimbatore. Welcome to you, Doctor. Thank you, sir. What are the job opportunities of uh, those chemical engineers who pass out from our institute? What are the types of jobs? What are the companies uh, which they can look for? Uh, maybe in the research and development or maybe in marketing or any field. What type of jobs are assured for our students who pass out of chemical engineering? Absolutely. Uh, what we always encourage our students to do is think uh, out of the box. A lot of our students uh, are under the impression that there's only one or two kind of roles for chemical engineers. Let's say a design engineer or a process engineer. These are buzzwords that are very common, but there's actually so much more beyond this. I would encourage any candidate who's considering chemical engineering to think of the entire supply chain, right from the product conception stage to raw materials, to actually designing the product, designing the process, all the steps that happen in between and then finally ending with shipping, packaging, transportation, and the consumption. The logistic part of it, yeah. The entire part of it. Every aspect, there is an opportunity for a chemical engineer to get involved. The raw material, it's all material science oriented. Chemical engineers are absolutely important there. The design aspect, the process design aspect, the plant design and layout aspect, the packaging engineer, the industrial engineering aspect, which involves planning and scheduling of the process operations, um, the shipping. In fact, I remember uh, in my own uh, class of BTEC uh, chemical engineering, there were students who got absorbed by the United, United States Postal Services. And in those days, that was kind of a surprise because we were thinking, what does the post office have do to do with, with the it? chemical engineers? But then you see, uh, when you have to ship materials, you have to be concerned about the safety of the material on the one hand and the safety to the environment and people on the other hand. So there should not be spillages, there should not be corrosion, there should not be spoilage of the materials and so on. So all these involve uh, chemical engineering core concepts. So which means chemical engineering is not a dead end by itself. It, has got a, it is like a junction. You can spread out to different departments. So as you rightly said, people have a view that yes, chemical engineering has limited scope. To right. be, it's a general view. I'm not saying yes. what my view, but I think you are fairly clear that it's not just one or two handful of uh, opportunities for our students yes. who complete uh, chemical engineering. Now, right. well good. said, it isn't easy to get employed. Yes. Whether you're an engineer or whether right. you're a scientist or whatever you are, it's not yeah. easy. Uh, what do you do to make, like there are so many companies which comes for placement yes. and we need to make them ready, industry ready, we call it as. Yes. Uh, you need to develop that employability skills in the students. Uh, what exactly you do to make your students qualify, yes. through, go through those aptitude tests, go through those HR rounds, go through group discussions, then go through tech techie rounds, yes. and finally they get selected into those corporates. What exactly, as a department head, you do yes. give to your students sure. to be successful in the interviews? Okay. Or to you, sir? So, we have a combination of uh, training from the department faculty itself and training from the corporate and industry relations group within Amrita. And the corporate and industry relations group, CIR as they are called, they provide literally something like 200 plus hours of training covering aptitude, uh, covering uh, group discussions, oh. covering general knowledge, all kinds of things. So uh, verbal, quantitative, everything, they cover everything. And they actually have them write an All India Aptitude exam as well so that we have an assurance that even before they attend the interview that they are actually qualified to do so. We don't want to, want to create a bad impression of the industries coming here and finding out that students are not really ready. So we make sure that they are prepared before they actually start attending the interviews. That is one. The other part is the core part. What we try to do is we have faculty who have been in the industry. I myself joined Amrita after 10 years in the industry. And so what we try to do is we leverage uh, at least uh, some incorporation of the industry relevance into each of the courses. And that was part of the syllabus design as well. So that gets approved in the Board of Studies uh, discussions as well. So uh, when, we, uh, when we teach, it is not merely theoretical. We make sure that uh, there is always an industry focus. What is it that you will actually do in the industry with this equation? If I have a Bernoulli's equation, what are you going to do in the industry actually? How are you going, going to apply it? 
So we try to give them that focus. And so uh, now that is one part of it. The second part of it is actually recognizing that the industry looks for something beyond CGPA. Well, that's right. Uh, the, Coming so, back to that yes, CGPA, yes. I, I fully endorse your statement saying yes. that the companies don't look at they your don't grades. Look at CGPA, yes. And the recent Education 4.0 states yes. that the students must be free thinkers, yes. they must be innovators, they might be critical thinkers, yes. they must be willing to create something new. Yes. So these, those are the skill sets which is required for the future of Correct. our students yes. in Education 4.0. Uh, as you rightly said, the companies who come in for placements today don't look at your CGP. They look at your skill and knowledge, which most of the engineering students have, but generally they look at as to how a student applies the knowledge and skill towards the betterment of the organization. If I recruit a student, yes. I, would, I would look at a guy who would apply his knowledge Correct. rather than having knowledge. Yes. So how do you develop these skill sets within your department Correct. for the students to excel when they get into jobs. Okay. Over to you, sir. So regarding this aspect of uh, what the industry looks for, certainly it is well beyond the CGPA. In fact, I myself had an experience of this while I was in the US. Uh, so I had joined uh, uh, the 3M pharmaceutical plant at one point of time. And then when I was moving back to India, in the US they have this exit interview. So at that time they said, do you know why we hired, hired you? So I said, well, I thought it was because of my quality management background and all that. They said, no, we heard that you get along with people. And so in this particular role that you're in, where you are heading the quality group, there is always a strong tussle between the production and the quality. And so we needed someone strong who could get along with everybody, but with that quality background. We're talking background. about the interpersonal skills. The interpersonal skills are absolutely important. And then I find also that when you join as a fresher in the industry, you're not expected to work miracles, but you are expected to learn. You have to be humble and learn from especially the process operators. And so if at that point the uh, fresher is a little bit reserved and aloof, nothing is going to get done. No job is going to get done. So there are these kinds of things which we, those of us who, are in the, uh, who have been in the industry, we try to uh, talk about our experiences with the students. And I think this is where uh, sometimes we have heard very good feedback from the industry. I remember the general manager from a company in uh, Bombay. He said, uh, he said, I won't name names, but there are some colleges from which if we take the student from day one, they want to tell us what we should be doing. When we hire an Amrita student, from day one, they get along with people. So these, this kind of feedback is very, very uh, encouraging for us. So we try to uh, leverage those uh, uh, experienced uh, faculty, uh, those who have been in the industry, and we try to get them to share their experiences about what do you do once you start working in the industry.